Hi there, Perfecto de Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'd like to show you what is possibly the only audio interface every guitar player will need. And that is the X-Tone Pro from Exonic. <laughs> Stone Pro is a two-channel USB audio interface that you can use with Mac, PC, or iOS. You get an XLR input with phantom power as well as a quarter-inch guitar input. The quarter-inch input is designated to the left channel while the XLR is designated to the right channel. I will talk more about this distinction a little later on in this video. At the top of the unit, there is a dedicated gain knob so you can adjust the gain for the XLR input. And you also have a master volume knob that will control the overall output of the x Pro. And don't let the stomp box format fool you because this is a high quality interface capable of recording up to 192 kilohertz resolution. This affords the user the lowest latency possible when using an interface. Aside from being an audio interface, the x Pro is also a MIDI controller. These switches put out continuous control data either through the USB output or through the MIDI ports. And these will allow you to control specific parameters and functions in your software via MIDI. Now to round out the features, we have an input jack for an expression pedal. We have stereo outputs left and right via these quarter inch jacks right here. We have an XLR out with a ground lift switch. And finally, we have a headphone output jack. If we're going to limit the use of the x -Tone Pro just to our iPhones and iPads, then this single unit replaces the iRig HD and the iRig Blueboard. Plus, it gives you the XLR ins and outs. It gives you the knobs to control gain and volume. It gives you two extra switches and it gives you MIDI in and out. Now, if you only want an interface just for your guitar and have absolutely no need for an XLR input, then the x -Tone Pro's younger brother, the x -Tone, gives you just that. The x -Tone has the guitar input, the stereo left and right outputs via quarter inch jack, and the XLR output. However, it has three switches less, and it doesn't have the MIDI ports. As for pricing right now on Amazon, the x -Tone is $170, and the X-Tone Pro is around $250. So in this video, I'll be showing you all the possible scenarios that I'll be using the X-Tone Pro in. I'll also show you how I set up the different switches with my favorite guitar apps so that I can use this for live gigs. Now, if at any point in this video, you decide that you have to get your own X-Tone or X-Tone Pro, please consider buying them through my affiliate links in the description box below. Using the links to buy these is of no extra cost to you and the commission I get will help me make more videos for all of you to enjoy. Okay, let's start with a very basic setup. In this scenario, I will be using the X-Tone Pro as an audio interface so that I could use my blue condenser mic as my audio source for the video that I will be recording onto my iPhone. Making the connection is really easy and the X-Tone Pro already comes with all the cables that you are going to need. Okay, we're going to take our USB-A to USB-B cable and plug the B side on to the X-Tone Pro. And then we're going to take the also included lightning to USB dongle and plug the other end of the USB cable there. And finally, the dongle goes into the iPhone. Now that we've made a connection, you can see that the X-Tone Pro now has power because it can be powered by your iOS device via the USB port. Of course, this affects the battery life of your iPhone or iPad. So if you're going to use it for a long time, you can plug in a power source through the dongle as well. Now I'm gonna connect my Bluebird condenser mic to the X-Tone Pro. And I'm going to switch to my phone cam footage.
Okay, so the reason why you can't hear me in that clip is because I haven't turned on phantom power yet. And condenser microphones need phantom power. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the F button for a couple of seconds. And then you'll see the 48 volt indicator light up showing that we are now supplying phantom power to my microphone. Switch to phone again. Okay, now you can hear me nice and clear now that we have our phantom power on. If you're listening to this on headphones or a nice pair of speakers, you will notice that my voice is coming out only off one side. And that's because of the thing I mentioned earlier. The XLR input is designated to the right channel and the quarter inch input is designated to the left channel. Now, if you're watching this on your phone, then it doesn't really matter because you're going to hear it anyway. Now, with this very simple setup, I can now live stream or record a video clip on my phone using this very nice condenser microphone for my audio. Now let's say you want to use a pair of headphones to monitor whatever it is you are putting into the X-Tone Pro. That is easily done. Just take a pair of headphones and plug it into the headphone jack. So now you'll be able to hear all the sounds coming from your phone. However, if you want to hear the sounds that you are putting into the X-Tone Pro, you have to turn on hardware monitoring. And that is done by long pressing the E switch until the indicator light for mon or monitor lights up. So now I'm going to play along to a loop using my Headrush gig board plugged into the quarter inch input of the X-Tone Pro. Now that scenario is certainly a very basic demo of how to use the X-Tone Pro as an audio interface. And as I mentioned earlier, it also works with Mac and PC, so it can certainly handle even more complex setups. For all you PC users, you still need to download and install the appropriate ASIO drivers for it, which is available from the Exonic website. Now to use the X-Tone Pro as an audio interface for your computer, just plug it into an available USB port and select it as your preferred hardware in the preferences of your digital audio workstation. I do have to point out that the X-Tone Pro's Stompbox form factor allows it to be more portable than your typical two input audio interface. So the next time I go on tour, I can just pack the X-Tone Pro in my gig bag along with the necessary cables. And since I always have my phone with me and it has my favorite guitar app, I now have a more than capable backup rig in case of emergencies. Plus I have an interface to use to record and shoot videos with during my downtime on tour. Okay, so let me show you the next scenario. This time we are going to use the X-Tone Pro to control our guitar apps. Uh, via the MIDI foot switches. Right now I have the X-Tone Pro on the floor which I will be switching with my feet. I also have my expression pedal connected to it and uh, it is hooked up to my iPad. The X-Tone Pro pretty much works with any guitar or vocal or effects or music apps and software out there as long as they're able to receive MIDI continuous control commands. And it already comes pre-programmed for some of the more popular apps out there like Bias, Bias Effects, Jam Up, Jam Up Pro, uh, Vocal Live, MIDI Guitar, and the list goes on. For this next segment, I'm going to use Jam Up Pro on my iPad and show you how the X-Tone Pro integrates seamlessly with it. <laughs> no sound. Okay. When you initially plug your X-Tone Pro into your app, sometimes it works right away. But sometimes, like in this case, we need to tweak some preferences. So I'm going to go into this gear icon right here. And as you can see right now, the input channel is set to the right channel, which is our XLR. Again, going back to the input designations that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So all you need to do is... Change it to the left channel and now 
it should work. Now this is one of my patches in Jamup, and when I step on the X-Tone Pro switches, you can see that it controls some of the stomp boxes that I have in my effects chain. <laughs> So one switch takes care of my modulation effects, which is a phaser. Another switch controls my overdrive. This switch controls my delay. And this switch controls my EQ boost. Now I got two switches left over. If I step on the E switch, it pulls up my tuner and also mutes my signal. And the F switch controls my delay's tap tempo. The x Pro has three MIDI groups and each group has seven continuous control numbers assigned to it. One for each switch plus the expression pedal. The MIDI groups are designated by color. So group A is green, group B is blue, and group C is red. To access the MIDI groups, all you need to do is to long press any one of the lower row switches. So switch A brings you to group A. You can see what group you're in by the color of the mode indicator light. So right now the mode indicator light is green, so that is group A. If we go to switch B, the mode light switches to blue and that tells you that you are in MIDI group B. Then long press the C switch and the mode light turns red and now you are in MIDI group C. Now as you've seen earlier, I have MIDI group A set up to control the different effects that I have in my effects chain. Now let's go to MIDI group B and I have MIDI group B set up to change between the different presets that I have. So here's my preset 1A. I step on the next switch. I go to preset 1B. I get to preset C. I have this was so we can also see the expression pedal in action. Now there's a slight delay switching between presets and that's not the fault of the X-Tone Pro. That entirely depends on the app that you are using. And you can always go back and forth. So now that I have switched to my WAP preset, I can go back to group A so that I can turn each individual effect on and off. Now for live use, I can totally live with those two MIDI groups. One switches my presets and the other one switches the preset into stomp box mode, so to speak. But since we have another MIDI group, it's a waste not to use it. So I have set MIDI group C to control Jam Up's sampler function. So one switch controls my metronome. And another switch controls my record. Three, four. And a couple more switches that control play and the dub function.
a lot of fun. Now, even though the X-Tone Pro has some MIDI control capabilities, I have to mention that it is not a full-blown MIDI controller. It only sends out continuous control MIDI data and not program change MIDI data. And the CC numbers assigned to each switch are fixed and there isn't a way to change them. Now that's not really a big deal with most music and software apps that are MIDI capable because usually they have a MIDI learning function. So if you're planning to use the X-Tone Pro to control other hardware via MIDI, you should be able to as long as that particular hardware can be configured to accept the fixed continuous control data that the X-Tone Pro puts out. And if that particular hardware is not flexible as well, then you're better off looking for a different solution. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up your guitar app with MIDI learning so that we can use the X-Tone Pro to control it via MIDI. Now for this segment, I'm going to use the brand new GE Labs Guitar Effects app from Moor Audio. This app is perfect for this demo because it is so new that the X-Tone Pro still does not have a preset banks to control this app. Okay, so let's go into settings and yes, input channel one. Let's check if we have sound. Okay, that's good. And now what we're going to do is to go into MIDI learning effects parameters and make sure that is turned on. And we can go into the different things that we can control with MIDI. And here it is. Now you can do this the hard way and reference the X-Tone Pro manual to get the continuous control numbers for each switch so that you can input it one at a time on this page. However, I'm going to show you an easier way. So what I'm gonna do first is so that there's no confusion, I am going to remove every single assignment that the app has right now. So with that removed, everything is set to MIDI learning. And now we are going to get out of this page and go straight into the effects window. Now in GE Labs, the leftmost icon brings you to the presets and the individual toggle page. And from here, we can start setting the buttons exactly as how we want it. So here in my effects chain, I want to turn the individual effects on and off. Okay, so what we're gonna do is long press the compressor, MIDI learning. And when we get to this page, it means that the app is waiting for a MIDI continuous control number to be sent to it. So let's see, compressor, I think I want to control it with A. As soon as we press the button, the app recognizes the continuous control number. And next thing we need to do is just hit save. And from there, you can see that whenever I press on the A button, it engages my compressor in the chain, which I have set as a gain reducer. So I have my full on rock sound. compressor engaged, it dials the gain down. It's like turning your guitar volume down, but quicker. I want to control my delay. So I'm gonna long press that button, click on MIDI learning, use the B switch for that. Save, now my B switch turns my delay on and off. I have a wah in the signal chain, but my individual toggles don't have a wah assigned to it. So what I'm gonna do is reassign one of these controls to the wah. I'm not gonna turn the reverb on and off. It'll always stay on, so I'm gonna choose that. Long press, click on turn on and off, scroll down, and there it is, turn on and off wah. Select that, long press it again. MIDI learning, select the C button for it. Save. Okay, so now I can turn the wall on and off. But the expression pedal does not do anything. And that's because we haven't assigned the expression pedal to control the wah yet. So what we're gonna do is click on the wah, and then we're going to long press the parameter that we want to control. In this case, it is position. Turn on MIDI learning, yes. And move the expression pedal 
so that the app finds it. Save now. Okay, there you go. Now I have three more buttons to play with. I can add more effects that I can turn on and off with these buttons. Or I think a better way to go about it is instead of dedicating one MIDI group to presets and another MIDI group to individual stomp box control, I'm going to try to program everything within one MIDI group so I don't have to deal with tap dancing so much. So I have my user presets in the bottom row of the app. I'm going to long press on my clean patch and assign that to D, save, assign the 800E, save, preset 1A to my F, switch, save. Now within one MIDI group, I have toggles for my individual effects. <laughs> And I have my preset buttons as well. Now in case you still haven't realized it, the X-Tone Pro and the GE Labs app have transformed my lowly iPad into a very capable and powerful guitar multi-effects processor. So what I've done is I've taken the XLR out of the X-Tone Pro and plugged it into my trusty Headrush FR-FR108 powered speaker. I have my Headrush speaker's volume set pretty low so that it doesn't overload my mic but this should give you a pretty good idea of how it sounds like in the room. Now to compare to switching presets with Jam Up earlier, the GE Labs switches presets a lot faster. And since the X-Tone Pro is ultra low latency, the feel is pretty much just like a proper and high quality guitar multi-effects unit. So with the XLR out, you can send it to a powered speaker just like this. You can send it to the front of house mixer so that you go out through the PA and you can be as loud as you want. And that's not to mention that I still have the stereo outputs via the quarter inch jacks also available. So I can send the XLR out to the front of house and the quarter inch jacks to whatever monitor I have on stage. Okay, now I got one more scenario to show you guys in this <laughs> pretty extensive in-depth demo of the X-Tone Pro. And that is uh, using it as your audio interface for recording, particularly mobile recording. Now, one of the things that I do while on tour is during long flights, I play around with GarageBand and write music, either coming up with backing tracks or demoing song ideas or writing out song sketches. And usually I have to wait until I get back home before I could lay down more tracks and make the song sketch or the song demo sound and feel a little more complete. Okay, so this segment, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up GarageBand. And as you can see, I have some drums and bass ready and I'm going to use the X-Tone Pro to record uh, a rhythm guitar track, maybe a lead guitar track, 
And I also have my tour mic plugged into the XLR input. And uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna sing, but I'm going to lay down some gang vocals or something. Okay, now I am plugged in. I can hear my guitar. I am just using one of GarageBand's onboard guitar presets. Let's lay something down. Okay, let's listen back. That's a good take. Now let's add a track. I think I'll use my vocals right now. Hey, sound check. We need to adjust the input. And again, XLR is channel two. So input two, there you go. Sound check, one, two, three. Hey, hey, sound check, it is a little low. Turn up the gain. Sound check, one, two, three. Hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa. Now let's double that track. For every track, you need to set the input. So just don't forget. Sound check, one, two, three. Overdub. Wow, wow. Okay, let's listen back. Let's add one more vocal, I think an octave lower, make it sound thicker. Wow, wow. Okay, there you go. I think that's enough for the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> See how that sounds. Okay, there it is. I have a fairly full sounding demo. Not the best performance, but all laid down within a matter of minutes. Thanks to the X-Tone Pro and GarageBand and a little bit of creativity. Now, something I said at the beginning of this video bears repeating. The X-Tone Pro is not limited for use with just iPhones and iPads. It is a full-blown USB audio interface. So you can plug it into your computer, whether Mac or PC, and it will work for use with your favorite digital audio workstation. Okay, there you have it. I had a lot of fun showing you all the possibilities that can be had and explored with the Exonic X-Tone Pro. To find out more about the X-Tone Pro and the whole line of Exonic products, go to their website, exonic.cc. And again, if you want your own X-Tone or X-Tone Pro, please buy them from my affiliate links in the description box below. I really appreciate your support. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like, feel free to share it with your friends, do subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I love reading from all you guys. Now I'm gonna ride out this video till the end, jamming to the backing track that I just slapped on together. Cause you know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers.